What up? Cardboard moles is what you welcome. You know the deal. Time to uh, get some more breaks popping. 2017-18 Ascension Basketball. Six box half case number 24. There it is on the screen. And uh, here it is. One auto per box. Let's see what we got. Sixers insert, a Bulls insert, a Celtics insert, number to 299, the rookie auto for OG Ananobi of the Raptors. Decent. He's looking to have a big season coming up. To 50, Jason Tatum, Celtics. That's nice. Really, Aaron? And I bet you, I bet, do you still have that card? Harry Giles, die cut for the Kings. Although, Lonzo's still a pretty nice hit to have, but, I mean, come on, Donovan Mitchell, dog. A heat insert there. John Wall to 125 Wizards. Markel Fultz, rookie for the Sixers. Dennis Smith Jr., rookie for the Mavericks. He's going to have a big season, too. The Mavericks are going to be a nice little team. Chris Paul, Hornets throwback. Now, there's going to be some confusion about this card. Oh, does it go to, does it go to the, does it go to the, uh, Does it go to the New Orleans Hornets? Does it go to the, or should I say, does it, does it go to the New Orleans Pelicans? Does it go to the, to the Shark? No, this is a Pelican. Because in 2007, 2008, the New Orleans Hornets were the, are the Pelicans. So this card goes to the Pelicans. If it was Charlotte, then it would go to the Charlotte Hornets, but because it's New Orleans, it's going to go to the Pelicans, all right? Chris Paul never played for the Charlotte Hornets. He only ever played for the New Orleans Hornets, who are the New Orleans Pelicans, all right? I always just like to clear that up because there's always people out there that say, oh, no, you know, he's, he's a Hornet. He's a Hornet. Yeah, he's a... New Orleans Hornets, who are now the Pelicans. But anyways, that goes to the Thunder. Used to be the Sonics. Goes to the Thunder. Right, like the Oilers wouldn't go to the Texans. The Oilers are the Titans. So uh, I can understand if there's confusion there. But that's why I'm here to clear it up. Yes, he did, Brave. Yes, he did. Uh, Jordan Bell, rookie for the Warriors. That's another good rookie. Last year's rookie class is going to be one for the ages. Really good hit. Uh, really good rookies on every team last year, really. Tyler Lydon, rookie for the Nuggets there. We'll see what this year's rookie class is going to look like. But it's going to be hard to compete with last year's class. Last year's class 
is going to be up there with like the 96 draft, the 03 draft. It's going to go down in history as, as one of the best. Tatum is the next Kobe, says Aaron. See, Brave, why you gotta say shit like that, dog? This guy, Brave, you... And then people say you're one of the most positive people they know. Jeez, man. But no, but you're, you're absolutely right. You never know. Injuries can happen. You, you just never know. Although I do think... It's going to be a special draft class. Not that I, I'm brave again. I, I definitely hear you. But it, it, it's my opinion. It's just my opinion. And a lot of other people share my opinion too. You know, basketball is my favorite sport. So I, I like to think that my eye for talent and my knowledge of the game is such... That I could look at a young player and be like, that kid's going to be a stud. And there's a lot of players in, the, in last year's draft class that I can say that about. Jason Tatum, Laurie Markinen, De'Aaron Fox, Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Dennis Smith Jr. There's a lot of good players out there, man. I know, Brave, I know. We, we got this little back and forth. It's adorable. Anyways, a Hornets insert there. Rockets insert. To 129, Zach Collins, Portland Blazers. Terrence Ferguson, Thunder rookie. Eric Gordon, Clippers, a little throwback there. Rockets insert. Tony Bradley, Jazz rookie. TJ Leaf, rookie autograph for the Pacers. Boom. We got Jordan Bell, Warriors die cuts. What's up, Jade? Brave, I hate to tell you, but uh, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Bucks insert. I mean, there's a few players in this draft that I'm like, damn, they could be ballers. Like uh, Luka Doncic, I think has great potential. Colin Sexton, I think has great potential. Um... I think Marvin Bagley has great potential, but but who knows? You never know until they play, right? Kemba Walker, 125 Hornets. Like last year, I guarantee nobody saw Donovan Mitchell come. I guarantee nobody saw Kyle Kuzma coming, and and then you know, then and then and then it happened. Luke Kennard, Pistons rookie. Timberwolves insert. Frank Jackson, Pelicans rookie. Oh, that's two boxes now. What do I think about Aiton, DeAndre Aiton? DeAndre Aiton. What does he look like? I'm trying to remember. Isn't DeAndre Aiton from Arizona? That kid out of Arizona? I like Aiton, but he doesn't, from if, from if I remember correctly, he's a great offensive player, doesn't play defense. Where Bamba is the opposite. Bamba played for Texas. Bamba, defensive superstar, 
has a lot to learn on offense. You know, I like Trey Young. Although I think he's, you know, even though he's undersized, if he could do like Steph Curry did and, you know, work on his handle to get that separation, I think Trey Young could be a broke man, Steph Curry. Uh, Noah, I have no football, brother. I have zero football. Well, I mean, I, I, it's, I don't have any in the store, Noah. Those were just like two box division breaks. They were not in the store. They were just loose boxes. I just randomly put it together and I filled it. You know, Noah, if you had stuck around, you could have got into it, man. in this third box you know brave somebody uh said the same thing on over on youtube uh jaron jackson but we'll see how that goes the heat insert going tragic there pacers insert the Aaron fox the 75 kings nobody's talking about this kid the kings are going to be real good this year i'm telling y'all Aaron Gordon, autograph for the Magic to 106. Very nice. What's up, Big Greg? I like Trey Young. If he can, if he can, you know, work on his handle, you know, bulk up a little bit to take that contact, he gonna be all right. Cincinnati Royals. You gotta see. You gotta look up who they go to. I think. I think it's the Bucks, but I'm not sure. I have to look it up and make sure that goes to the right team. Ben Simmons to 25 for the Sixers. Honestly, dude, with Trey Young, I, I, my, I hear you. He could either be an elite shooter or an elite bust. I think he's going to be somewhere in the middle. I think he's going to be like... Like a Jamal Crawford kind of player? Oh, Royals are the Kings? Okay, that would make sense. Uh, but, yeah, I, dude, I, yeah, with Trey Young, man, I, I hear you on that. Like, he could he could be Steph Curry or he could be Seth Curry. <laughs> TJ Leaf, Pacers rookie. But, yeah, I'll admit, nobody in this year's draft, like, pops out to me like, wow. Bulls insert there. We shall see. We shall see. The season is is fastly approaching. Caleb Swining and Blazers rookie. DJ Wilson Bucks rookie. Jeremy Lin Knicks little throwback there. Michael Porter Jr. is another guy that uh, that I forget to mention because he suffered a pretty nasty injury in college, but before then. People were talking about him like the number one pick. Westbrook insert for the Thunder. Justin Jackson, Kings rookie. Dwayne Wade with the Cavs. Ill. Oh, man. D. Wade is retiring. Last season. I'm going to cry. Is that what his injury was? I thought it was his knee. He injured his back? I like the Nuggets. Nikola Jokic, very underrated player. Probably because he plays in Denver. And Isaiah Thomas over there. Should be interesting. Nuggets will probably be like the highest scoring team. But their defense will probably be terrible.
I wonder what the Lakers are going to look like, though. I wonder if LeBron is really going to be able to take a back seat in the sense of him not being able, no, not being able, but I should say not handling the, uh, you know, handling the ball as much. He said he wants to play off the ball. We'll see what happens. I, dude, man, I don't know. I think the Lakers could be like anywhere from being like the 10th seed in the West to barely getting in the playoffs to just sneakily being like top three. I mean, they do have LeBron. I just, the only thing that concerns me is they don't have any shooters around them. And they don't really have a big man. And I wish they would have tried to keep Julius Randle. But I'm pretty sure they couldn't afford him. Well, it's going to be an interesting season. Oh, damn, Brave. That's a serious injury. Now, hopefully, he can come out on top of that. Devin Booker's son's insert. Mari Carroll of the Nets. Autographed to 25. So, although he's in a Raptors uniform, it does go to the Nets. Ingram is going to be the X Factor. I was just about to say. LeBron even came out and said it in an interview a couple days ago that Brandon Ingram is next up. So that's that's some pretty high praise from the king. The, the, the self-appointed king, I should say. John Collins, rookie uh, die cut for the Hawks. Another really good young player that not a, people, not a lot of people talk about. Mainly because he plays for a crappy team. But John Collins is a beast. Telling you, last year's draft class, when, when you know, we'll look back on it in a in a few years, and we're gonna be like, damn, that was a really good draft class. And then I'm gonna be like, I told you so. Rockets insert. Your boy got that eye for basketball. Cedarius so Thornwell, 129 Clippers. Devin Booker, 125 Suns. Josh Hart, Lakers rookie. He was really underrated last year. Came on strong towards the end of the season. Should be, man, it's going to be an interesting team, that, that Laker team. Joe Johnson, a little Suns throwback. That was a really fun Suns team to watch. Lakers insert. Back with Steve Nash. Sean Marion. And Amari Stoudemire. Man, that was a fun team. Excuse me. Jared Allen Nets, another rookie that not a lot of people know about because he plays for a crappy team. But Jared Allen is a kid, a kid. The kid's a beast. Uh, dude, Aaron, I'm with you on that. Warriors insert. I don't know so much about the defense, but the guy's vision is, is amazing. He has great vision. He can he can get that ball out of his hands, like no like dude like Lonzo has great potential. Justin Jackson, Kings rookie. I agree, man. A lot of people look at him a certain way because of his dad and his antics and stuff. But I actually met Lonzo Ball once when his rookie year. Actually, I met Lonzo. I got pictures to prove it. If anybody wants to call me out on that, and I had like a good five minute conversation with the kid. And I got to tell you, he is, when I say soft-spoken, what I mean by that is he's, he's not, like, he's not loud, he's not brash, he's not cocky about, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's just a really down-to-earth kid, very well-spoken, very respectful. I really enjoyed the conversation I had with him. I'm a fan of his. Uh, after that conversation I had with him. I'm a fan, and I, I wish nothing but good things for him. And his dad, not for nothing, is a genius. His dad spoke everything into existence. He spoke Lonzo Ball getting drafted by the Lakers into existence, and he spoke LeBron getting uh, getting traded to the Lakers into existence. Now, was it really his dad that made it happen? Probably not. But, you know, just to have that support system there is huge. And, you know, his dad is a genius in the sense that 
everybody's like, everybody's looking at his dad as opposed to looking at Lonzo. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, Jade, you already know. All right, my dude, right, be for easy. Sure. For sure. Matt. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I never, I, I haven't met his father. I met Lonzo. And yeah, dude, super down to earth, super cool kid. I'm like, I, I have nothing but but great things to say about Lonzo. And his dad, his dad's a genius, man, a professional troll. Everybody's talking about Lonzo's dad. Nobody's talking about Lonzo, so Lonzo could just go out there and play basketball. It's a, uh, it's a genius move. It's a genius move. Now charging five hundred dollars for a five, you know, five hundred dollars for a five dollar pair of shoes. Now that's a whole other story, but whatever. Frank Jackson Pelicans rookie. Gary Payton. Uh, Thunder insert. I would love to meet Gary Payton. That dude, I I would I would talk for hours with Gary if I could. Terrence Ferguson Thunder insert. One of my favorite players, Gary Payton. Tony Bradley Jazz rookie. Dion Waiters. A little throwback for his from his Cav days. Warriors victory insert. Frank Nilakina. Knicks rookie. Hornets insert Kevin Walker. Rockets insert the dream. Hakeem. They don't do that anymore. I, f I feel like they don't give out cool nicknames like that no more. Dennis Smith Jr. to 129 Mavericks. Bro, Donovan Mitchell. I'm sorry, Dennis Smith Jr. Probably, probably more athletic and explosive than Russell Westbrook. If you, if you could imagine that. Derek White to 50. Autograph of the Spurs. This is true. All the cool nicknames have been taken. Chocolate Thunder. Oh, Garen, I can only imagine, dog. I can only imagine. Hawk Sensor. And he, he just seems like a genuinely, like, just cool dude. You know what I mean? Like, you could just kick it with him and just have a beer and just talk shit. Brandon Ingram to 75 Lakers. If this kid could put on like 10, 15 pounds of muscle, he'd be a bully in the low post. With his size, with his length. What up, Marcus? I would also like to meet Jason Williams. I would, honestly, I want to meet everybody on that 2006. NBA championship Miami Heat team. So many legendary players on that squad. Jason Way just Jason Williams would be and I think he'd be super cool to me. Hell yeah, Jane. He's uh he's an Oakland boy, man. Them, you know how them Oakland boys do. Hell yeah, Aaron, dude, I'd probably be sweating too. But the thing with me is, man, that's that's how I I like to attribute a little piece of my trash talk to Gary Payton, because some of my earliest memories are him are, are watching me, or or I should say are me watching Gary Payton and Sean Kemp going at it with uh, Michael Jordan, and here's this six foot dude going at the greatest of all time, the goat. And just talking trash and backing it up. And he also helped us win our first championship in NBA history. So, you know, I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I appreciate the man. I appreciate it. A uh, Bucks insert there for the big O. Another dude I'd like to meet, Shaq. I feel like Shaq is uh, probably 
he pro he probably is the same personality that he portrays himself like on TV and stuff, like on Inside the NBA. I feel like he's probably super cool too. Marco Fultz, rookie there for the Sixers. A Jordan Bell rookie auto to 299 for the Warriors. Nice hit right there. I believe that's going to be the last one. There's only one auto per box. That is a Lakers insert for Mr. Elgin Baylor. Marcus Smart to 125 Celtics. It's going to be interesting to see the Celtics play this year without, uh, I'm sure I should say, with Kyrie. And Gordon Hayward in the fold. Interesting, interesting to see. It's going to be interesting to see. New Orleans Hornets. So same deal here. It, it, it's the same deal as the Chris Paul. You're not going to tell me that Anthony Davis is a Hornet. Because he's, he's not. He plays for the New Orleans Hornets. Who are now the New Orleans Pelicans. Alright. So same deal here. You're not going to tell me Chris Paul. Played for the Charlotte Hornets. Because he never played for the Charlotte Hornets. He played for the New Orleans Hornets. Who are now the New Orleans Pelicans. Same deal with Anthony Davis. So Aaron, you gave you you gave GP uh, one of those box toppers. Okay, I know the box toppers you're talking. Dylan G, you passed. I told you you would. Uncle Jesse gave you that blessing, my man. Now don't go crazy driving, Dylan G. It's a it's a, it's a uh, what do they say? It is a fuck. What did they tell me when I first got my license? It's a responsibility or something like that. It's a, it's not whatever. Just you know, don't don't go crazy. Don't drink and drive, Dylan G. Just be safe out there, my dude. Be safe out there. So, did he sign it for you, Aaron? Uh, Kevin, 25 number box break. I have no idea what you're talking about, as usual, Kevin. Uh, Warriors insert. There we go. It's a privilege, not a right. There you go. That's what I'm... That's, that's the good old, good old. Terrence Ferguson, Thunder. Rookie. That's another rookie that I think is going to have a big year coming up. Russell Westbrook Thunder insert. DeRozan with the Spurs. That's going to be interesting to see. Oh, that's pretty cool, Aaron. Nice. Did you sign it for him? <laughs> Frank Jackson Pelicans rookie. Man, I probably I probably could have met him. Uh, they played down, down here in Miami. Uh... It was like a the big three situation or whatever. And he's like a coach for one of the teams. Steph Curry Warriors insert to finish the break. And he actually came down for the big three tournament or whatever. Um, I, I just I didn't get a chance to see him though because, you know, some of us have to work for a living. But anyways, that's it for the break. So to recap it here, um, I'll go through the number cards. So we got Smart Celtics 125, Rab Grizzly 75, Ingram Lakers 75, Smith Jr. Mavericks 129, Booker Suns 125, Thornwell Clippers 129, Simmons Sixers 25, Fox Kings 75, Walker Hornets 125, Collins Blazers 129, Wall Wizards 125, Tatum Celtics to 50. Our autographs. Leave the rookies to the back. All right. So we have Tamari Carroll of the Nets to 25. Aaron a Gordon of the Magic to 106. Derek White Spurs number to 50. TJ Leaf Pacers 299. OG Ananobi Raptors 299. And Jordan Bell Warriors 299. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.